Good afternoon. My name is Bibi Aguerrevere. Thank you very much for the invitation to speak at the 50th anniversary of the Profusion School at THI. I'll be talking about international profusion education in Latin America. As we all know, there was a lot of going on in the 50s in development on cardiac surgery. Back in the South, um, animal experimentation took place in the first mm, quarter of the 50s, but it wasn't until the, until the late 50s where, where cardiac surgery developed. I'm pretty sure you're all familiar with this picture that is hanging in the profusion office of THI. I was trained in THI at 2006 and I'm from Venezuela. So I had the privilege to work in this hospital in Venezuela where Dr. Denton Cooley developed the first cardiac surgery. It has to be said that Brazil has been pioneer in developing um, techniques, hardware, and also oxygenators in Latin America. But what is curious is that the term perfusionist came from Bennett Mitchell, who was originally from Trinidad and Tobago, which is an island from the Caribbean. He migrated to New York and he determined in 1974 that the person who operated the hard lung machine could be called, called perfusionist. This lady called Alileni Perez Aleman has been visionary and very enthusiastic to put together this project called the Latin American Perfusion Society. She developed the idea on um, uh, divide uh, Latin America in five regions so they can communicate and stay together in the growth of perfusion through time. A lab seeks to raise the integral level of the perfusionist and standardize both training and practice of perfusion in Latin America. So far, a lab scope is continent presence. We have 1,200 members. We have had two big meetings, one in Costa Rica and the other one in Bogota. Um, they take place every three years with a, a percentage of attended of 300 perfusionists every time. We have an index journal called On Pump or in Bomba in Spanish, and it's translated to Portuguese and soon it's gonna be translated into English. In terms of continuing education, every year we perform annual programs of regional um, symposiums through the five regions that I said before. So we replicate the information in the five regions. Monthly, we perform webinars and study group, groups with topics of interest. We have one profusion masters in Latin America. And so far we have developed three online courses that they're called competences of the perfusionist, research in perfusion and components of cardiopulmonary bypass. A lab's um, objective for this year is to develop local and scientific evidence in perfusion through research and publication. To speak, in terms of the Latin American Board of Cardiovascular Perfusion, this project was launched in 2019. It was a tough project because um, it's difficult to put together a whole continent in this um, time where uh, internet and WhatsApp and a lot of information going back and forth. But right now, after a hard work of um, of all of the perfusionists that are together in this project, the Latin Americans see the board as a certification of quality. It is a public document, and I'll be giving a little bit of update of how things are going on. We have received collaboration through, the, um, through these years from ABCP, the Spanish Society of Cardiovascular Perfusion and the European board. It has been tough, as I said before, um, to get this project on board. This paper specifically gave us lights of that we were not alone and, and the drawbacks that we have had are, are written in this paper. So where are we right now? We're here, we're performing the test and probably this is gonna happen to us because a lab right, right now is um, it's, it's offering the credentials um, to its own members through the board. So basically it's gonna happen that uh, we were gonna need an agency that accredits the programs, the profession programs, so we can separate a lab from the board. 
as it happens with AMSIC and um, and the Latin and, and the American Board of Cardiovascular Perfusion. So the board right now is contacting the schools for the approach that the board is interested in those students that are uh, graduating to perform the board and to state update in education. So the process right now, we are in the inclusion period, which has been um, due in the past two years. It ends at the end of this year. And we don't have a grandfather modality. It's um, five, 50% pass or fail. The test is divided into two sections, basic science of cardiovascular perfusion and clinical activity. The test is performed through a platform, an online, very secure platform. Uh, um, it's a three hour test. It's monitored it, with different monitors through the webcam and uh, it's called test invite. So from next year on, we pass to the final period which, which is called regular period. The test is um, longer than the one from the first period and it's a 70% pass. But the requirements are different. Now the perfusionist who wants to sit for the boards has to come from an accredited perfusion school. In terms of recertification, the perfusionist has to um, perform 40 cases per year and 45 CEUs every three years. Where to declare or to upload those um, in for that information? Right now, we're developing the web page for that, but now we're doing it in a labs app, which was basically made for calculations, but has a section for the board. So this is being done manually by the person who is working for the Latin American Perfusion Board. This person goes through every profile and updates the CEUs manually. So it has been very tough, but um, we we're going on. And uh, thank you very much for the support. Um, we're basically investing right now in platforms and in ways of uploading all this information to have it mm, renew every year and every uh, three years in the recertification process. So in terms of perfusion programs in Latin America, there's 17 programs currently in, in Latin America. Most of them are, um, are diploma or a specialist. That is a very common form of title in Latin America. There's one perfusion program mas uh, as a master's in Dominican Republic. And um, so far there are approximately two or three programs closed. Most of them have university, are indexed to a university. So I'm gonna speak a little bit about the master's program. This is my class from 2006 in THI. And um, uh, I'm currently the director of the master's program in, in Dominican Republic. I have to be said that um, uh, I'm so thankful to have had the best teachers and classmates ever. I got a lot of experience on, in how, to, how, how you taught us there, the methodology, how, how you come out of THI as a perfusionist. Um, I told Debbie that um, in the past meeting that I translated the perfusion evaluation sheet and, uh, from THI, and this is the methodology that we use here to evaluate the students, the current students from the master's. So thank you very much for um, my mentors and my professors. So this is the um, master's programs in, in, DI, in DR. So far we have had um, three classes. It's a two year program. We have received students from Panama, from Colombia, from Ecuador, from Belize and from Chile. This year in the class 2023, we have a hybrid modality. So we have local students, which um, they were not perfusionists, but we have other five students in, an, in the hybrid modality that they are already perfusionists, but they want to go from for the masters. So they perform in the two year period, the, an online part and the other part, they come and pump cases in the um, cardiac hospital at Dominican Republic. We have received collaborations from perfusionists from the states because we have um, missions that comes through to this hospital. 
And uh, it has been very nice to interact, interact with perfusionists. Lately, we had a perfusionist from Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, Mount Sinai. And any, every time they come, they give us excellent idea. So it's very interesting, interesting what's going on here. Students really appreciate it. If any of you want to collaborate to give an online class or come here to, to the program and stay a, a while with us and uh, give some classes, we're more than happy. Thank you very much for the invitation. I really want to say a special thanks to the ABCP. Anytime I have the opportunity to say it, I'm going to say it through the past three years. Thanks and greetings from Latin America. It was a pleasure to be here. Bye.